those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. All the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree is the Lord's. It is holy unto the Lord. This has nothing to do with a dispensation. This is an ordinance. Let me submit to you. There are two reasons why I think the tithe issue has become a controversy in the body of Christ. Number one, and is because of the way we men of God drum it. We drum it because we need the money and because there have been a, a lot of misuse and extravagance with God's money. People have played all kinds of games with God's money at the expense of people's sacrifices and not everybody in church, uh, people, God's people are not dummies. When they watch and they see that the value you are, pro you are producing does not match the kind of affluence and extravagance you are communicating, someone will be sensitive enough to ask questions. And because a tithe is a tenth portion, there is nothing to hide about tithe. Tithe, financially speaking, is a tenth portion of what you bring. And let me tell you, if that is combined from faithful people, it is a lot. Bankers, am I right? It is a lot. What is there to hide? Tithe was supposed to be a mechanism. Listen to me. According to scripture, the tithe was supposed to be a mechanism to cater for priesthood and to cater for the building of the lord's house to cater for priesthood remember there was a time when the children of eli hophni and phinehas are we bible students that while they were boiling the meat they were given the privilege of using a fork to pick without looking the scene there became when they now started opening the whole pot and they would look for the choice part of the meat and use it and god said no this is not i gave you the privilege to at least pick something now there are all kinds of policies and principles i'm not going into the legalities of ministries and christian organizations and all of that but i can tell you it is because of the annoyance of people from the carelessness the recklessness and the misuse of god's money this is what has led people into this anger that has evolved into this campaign there are a few people who have intelligently studied and based on their conclusion they feel this is not needed but i tell you the root of most of this tight problem has come because of an a, a level of integrity that has not been effectively communicated are we together but i submit to you and as far as it is within the jurisdiction of this spiritual family i can tell you be a faithful tither tithe is a tenth portion according to scripture one tenth now i know that a lot of people have taught to bring 50 percent of your tithe 80 percent of your tithe the bible does not say that if god tells you personally it is a personalized dealing don't create a doctrine out of it and punish people within the boundary of contentment and vision 10% of what God's people bring should be sufficient to run the activities of the ministry within the boundary of contentment, vision, and integrity. Are we learning? Yes, sir. So let me encourage you, based on the truth of scripture I have learned, based on the experience of veterans who have been, who have truly prospered by God, I can tell you, do not stop tithing if you don't have the revelation settle down and get the revelation don't do it religiously but as far as this house is concerned as a ministry we're a tithing ministry as an individual i'm a tithing person and i can tell you tithe is not about money it is called the law of open heavens according to malachi chapter 3 when you begin to read from verse 8 it says will a man rob god it says but ye say wherein have we robbed you in tithes and offerings so the bible is talking about robbery here it says ye are cursed with a curse this is not the curse of the law no for ye have robbed me even this whole nation verse 10 it says bring ye how many all the tithes into my storehouse in another series we'll have 
the time to discuss what storehouse is because there are three platforms that qualify to be called a storehouse in fact i think i should just say it in one minute number one a storehouse means your place of primary spiritual nourishment it qualifies it is the first biblical platform that is called a storehouse your place of primary spiritual nourishment number two a storehouse also refers to any ministry that is committed to the salvation of souls and the transformation of lives these two things must be there if it is not actively committed to the salvation of souls and the equipping of the saints it does not qualify to be called a storehouse it's an uncomfortable truth but this is the truth and then number three the storehouse can also by extension refer to an individual a minister who is committed to the salvation of souls and the equipping of the saints there are conditions where an individual can be regarded as a storehouse these are the three just take it like this for now in another series as god grants us grace we'll open deeper into this i just didn't want to leave that gray area but it says bring ye all the tithes into my storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now here which said the lord there are seven prophetic blessings according to scripture here that follow the title number one god will open for you the windows of heaven number two you will we will pour out a blessing that you will not have room enough for it fathers like kenneth copeland will call it concept insights and ideas next verse it says i will rebuke the devourer the third the devourer is a waster that comes to bring all kinds of waste on legal basis to your life number four he says he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground your ground is anywhere you plant can be your business can be your life and then number five he said neither shall your vine cast its young before its time number six he says you shall be called you shall be a delight some land please go to um all nations shall call you blessed verse 12 and ye shall be a delight some land seven prophetic blessings according to scripture when jesus was rebuking the scribes and pharisees for their being hypocritical he did not negate the subject of tithing he said you tight and you do all of these things and you negate the weightier matter so jesus identified this as part of the things that the believers should know